Welcome everybody to Crypto Zeta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at BTC. This is going to be a higher time frame count. We will be doing a lower time frame count video as well. So let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to talk about a couple of higher time frame ideas here. And now there's a couple of ways that I'm looking at this move to the upside currently. We can argue that we could have this as potentially one, two, three. This becomes our fourth wave here, and we're looking for a fifth wave. Now, invalidation of this idea actually comes by crossing this 13,970 level. Now, if we have completed into this, we have actually hit this 50% of this wave three here. Now, we could also argue that this is one, two, three, four, and five. The problem I have with it is that the wave two would have been bigger than the wave four, but it is technically still a possible count within the structure. Now, if that's the case, instead, what we would be saying here is that we could actually have this as a wave two looking to play out here. And what we'd then say is that this whole move up here would be potentially a completed structure. And we're looking for this as a possible wave two to the downside. Now, the thing with this is this would mean that potentially we could come down lower where we would have this as an A, a B and a C. And we could look to push down towards this 14,706 to the 6,098 level. Invalidation of this idea comes by crossing this 3,216. And what we would be looking for here effectively would be a bit of a longer correction. Because if we look at the time relationship, which is these vertical lines here, these are indicating the time relationship of this wave 2 to the wave 1. Now, the one to one of this would actually be here towards October 2024. What we'd like to see is a minimum of a 0 0.382 when we're looking for a correction. So we have actually met this over here, but it is possible that this could still look to extend out. Now, if this is going to look to extend out, like I said, we'd be expecting something like this as a bigger three wave move looking to bring us back down into these levels. Now, there is a more bearish scenario here where if I come onto this chart over here, if we wanted to look at the worst case scenario, what we would be saying is that potentially we have a completed higher degree move here. And what this would mean is that we'd be looking for a more substantial move to the downside. Now, the most common area we'd be looking here for a B wave or a wave two would be this 50% to the 786. But at a minimum, I'd like to see this 0 0.382. Now, this count would only really take precedence if we start to form five wave structure to the downside, in my opinion. At the moment, this is not what I'm looking at, but we cannot rule it out that if we do start to break down in a bigger way here, we could still look to push down into some of these levels if we start to lose these lows. So we need to just be careful of that idea. So we're going to go over that bullish count now. And then we're going to talk about what could happen and what we need to see happen to validate this idea. So within this idea, like I said, we're looking at this as one, two, three, four, and potentially a fifth wave to the upside. If we do look to hold support from where we currently are here, our fifth wave target area would be between this 170,906 to this 97,144. Now, this would be valid as obviously our fourth wave, as long as we hold this low of this 13. 970. So how could this look to play out as a fifth wave if we're going to see something like this playing out to the upside? So first off, what we would have to say here is that this move to the downside would have to count it as W, X, Y, X, and Z. And this Z wave is 0.618 of the length of the W wave. So it does meet the criteria for being a Z wave. Now within this idea, we have to be careful until we break above this 50,000 level. We need to be on the lookout that even if we do see something like this to the upside as a bigger three wave, this still fits in with the idea of this being a bigger ABC pattern to the downside. We need to see confirmation of the five wave structure to the upside. Now, what would that look like? Now, if we're going to argue this there's two ways that we can see look at this currently so we can still potentially argue this is one two this is one two here and we could still be looking for this wave three now the wave three currently the target for this would be this 52,484 the problem that I would have here is that if we break this low over here this would then mean that this wave two is substantially bigger than this previous one over here so it would make more sense in that case that what we would have is that this whole move into this would be our completed structure and we'd be looking for this as a b wave or a wave two looking for that continuation afterwards now if we are still looking at this idea of one two one two the problem now is that it is looking very the probability has actually dropped quite a lot here with the depth of this move to the downside because what we were talking about in previous videos was saying that you know this could be another one we're looking for a wave two here and then we'd be looking for this wave three to the upside now 
we have come down already to the 0.854, which has already reduced the probability that this is a wave two. The only way that we're going to see this um, validate is if we manage to move back above these highs here and then look to actually invalidate the idea of this move extending to the downside, which we're going to go over more in the lower time frame video. Now, if this is the case, what we would be looking for here is for price to move up from this current low to this 37,606 for confirmation that this is becoming one, two, three, and then we'd have to wait for evidence of this fourth wave and then a fifth wave to the upside. Now, this target would potentially then look to push us up towards this 41,285 to this 38,951. So this is our bullish count where we're saying that this is still a one, two. Now, the other thing we could actually see here, because if we overlay the other idea here, we'd need to see a move at least up here towards this 52,000 484 for this idea to validate from further back here so the only way that this can happen here if we are looking at this count which is also reducing the probabilities now that this isn't what is in play but until we actually take the low of this 24,800 we need to be mindful that if we do see some kind of reversal to the upside here where this wave three starts to extend out rather towards this 2.618, which is sitting here towards this 48,147. This would then align more with the idea that we have this idea of a one, two, one, two. But like I said, you know, the probability is already reduced. Now, if we lose this low, then that likelihood is that even within this bullish count, we would have to start looking at this differently. Now, if we are looking at this in this way, what we would then say is that from this low over here, which would not be our validation point for any extension, which would be this 15,491, we would have this as an A wave into this high. Now, this can always turn into a bigger five wave structure, but for now, I've got this labeled as A. If this is the case, what we could then see is that this could be A, B, and C, and we could still be looking for price to come back down into some of these lower levels. So we have hit this 236, and now we do also have some levels lower down here, which will be interesting to me. So this 382, which would be this 23,774 to this 21,903. If we are looking at the structure here as a bigger flat correction, this 0.382 to this 50% is quite a common target area. I have also got this trend line over here, which I'm gonna be keeping an eye on as a possible confluence with this level if we do see price looking to come back down here now we don't have confirmation of this all we have is three waves currently so we always need to be on the lookout that this wave b could always potentially complete higher up here and then we could see the c wave but there is no evidence of that at the moment and that's what we need to wait for here is further evidence for that to give us more clarity of what's playing out now if we are looking at something like this we also need to just be aware that within this structure, if we're going to have this as an A wave to the upside here and we get this move to the downside, it is also possible because of the time duration of this that, you know, we could just get this as A, B and then we look to push directly up in a C wave. Though we also need to be careful here because we could see price do something like this as a bigger A, B, C pattern and actually look to sweep the highs then come back down and sweep these lows again. So I'm going to be watching that moving forward here. That would look something like this. So if we do get this as a bigger ABC pattern here, and then we get three waves back to the upside, we need to be on the lookout for something like this, where we could see price look to come down here, sweep these lows, push back up, sweep these highs, and then still come back down and sweep these lows. And this would all still just be within that B wave. So this is something we're going to have to keep an eye on moving forward here if we are looking at this um, corrective structure. But what we need to be on the lookout for here as well is, you know, if we do get this as a bigger A, a B, and a C, that one-to-one -one in time is sitting towards the 4th of September. Now, we've really crossed this 0 0.854 in time, so it has actually done enough here that potentially this could look to complete. Now, if we were looking at this idea of this being a B wave, we were talking about this in two ways, and what we were saying is that potentially what we could have here is that this move could either be a bigger W, X, and a Y, and what we were looking for was the potential to see price come back down here towards this zone of this uh, one to one, which we've already hit. Now we've also come very close to this one, two, three, six, and this one, three, eight, two. The thing is with this as a W and X and a Y, 
if we start taking this low, it starts to become more likely that this is going to be turning into a flat correction. But I will still be keeping an eye on this 25,063 to this 24,402 as possible targets over here. where We could see this actually interact with those zones. The other way we were discussing this is that from further back here, once we moved up into the zone, we were saying, you know, we need to be careful because this could just be A, B. And then we're looking for that possibility of a C wave down. Now, because of this, um, the current structure here we have actually hit this 1.618 of this which is this 25,448 level so that is taken from here into this low back up into this high so typically speaking what we expect once we hit this 1618 is a fourth wave where we say this would then be one two three four and five now it is also possible that this could actually be looking to extend deeper here because the internals are suggesting that we might actually see a deeper push now if we do see a deeper push i wouldn't say that it is my primary expectation but i would keep an eye on this 22,873 if we do see this starting to extend as a possible target area for this wave three but it is it has actually done enough here that it could be potentially completed but the internals within this structure are suggesting you know there is a little bit more downside which we will be going over in that lower degree video Okay, so now we're going to go over the more bearish scenario here where instead of saying that we're looking for this to be a fourth wave and looking for that direct push up, what we could have here is that this is a more corrective count. So there's a couple of ways of looking at this move to the downside. Like we said previously here with this idea of this WXYXZ, this could actually still just be a single corrective structure where we form this as an A wave. We get three waves back to the upside, look to push up towards this 49,934 to this 32,717 level in three waves and then look for this continuation down. Now this X wave up here would be quite a interesting target if we do see price move up into these zones because of the 786. So we'll be watching that, uh, you know, as time progresses here, if we do start to push to the upside here. If we do see something like this, what we would then be expecting is to see this as develop as A, B, and C to the upside and then still see that continuation down. The other way that we could argue that this is taking place is we would have to say here that we have something along these lines. Now, this would be counting this move slightly different. And what we'd be saying is that this move here is three waves down in a W. And what we have internally here, this is an A, a B, and a C. Now, if this is the case, this could make this our W wave here. We'd have a connector wave in here. And then what we'd be looking for is a Y wave to the upside. Now, if we're looking for a Y wave, what we want is three wave structure up. We only have a five wave move here currently we could potentially argue that this is abc but it wouldn't be my best interpretation of it i would say rather that we're looking for something like this to play out where we're going to still see a push to the upside here once again 786 sitting towards the zone of this uh, 50,109 level which would be above this high uh, moving back into the lows would be towards the 0.618 level so i'm going to be keeping an eye on that now Within this, what we would then be saying is that potentially we have a Y wave still to come here. Now, if we're looking for something like a Y wave, what we could see is something like this, where actually we have this as our A wave. We're looking for a B wave. Once again, those same two ideas are going to be in play here. If this is W, X, and Y, then we're looking for just a three wave move here. We're not going to get a bigger fourth wave here and a fifth wave down. We're just going to see a three wave structure and then see a push back to the upside. Now, if we were looking at this from our current level here, what we'd be saying is 39,921 would be the target that we are looking for. If, however, we do look to push down deeper here, this will change this one-to-one -one target, but effectively invalidation of this comes by crossing this 19,549. And what we'd be expecting here is to see three wave structure to the downside, followed by a five wave move to the upside. So th this is something we need to be careful of because if we do look to find support here and look to reverse back up, we could still see price coming back up here and looking to sweep some of these zones before looking for that continuation down. Because within this count, what we are saying is that this whole move to the upside from further back here is a bigger corrective structure and then what we'd be looking for is continuation to the downside at a later point now depending on how high we come here this will change this target if we come up here towards a 0.618 this would be 9977 at our one to one and if we do move up towards a 786 this would put this towards 12823 so we need to keep an eye on how this actually develops here. We do have that bullish potential here, but we still need to be mindful of the fact that this can still look to break to the downside. Now, another way of looking at this, this would be our worst case scenario. Effectively, 
what we'd be looking for is this is a five wave structure. Now, if this is a five wave move to the downside, we have to be careful that this can always turn into a bigger five wave structure. Because if we do move down in five waves here, we get three waves up and then we still see another five wave push down towards this 4,461 level. We need to just be careful of this possibility that this could become one, two, three, four and five. And then we could still look to actually break these lows here and invalidate both of those two bullish scenarios where we are not allowed to cross these lows. So we need to just be careful. Like I said, when we discuss that possibility of a completed higher degree move, we need to just always be aware of these things. But at the moment, we need to see whether these confirm, because what we are doing here is we're building a roadmap and then we need to see price action confirm or deny these different counts. So within this count, effectively, what we'd be saying is that this is rather one, two, three into here. This is a fourth wave and then we have this as a fifth. Now, if this is the case, what we'd then be looking for is that same idea that we could just see a three wave structure up. So this is why it's going to be very important here. If we're looking at this as a wave one and a two, what we would need to see here for confirmation that this move is looking to trend to the upside, like we discussed earlier, we need to see this move push past this one to one, which would be this area here of this high on the 786. And we'd need to hit the zone of this 73,231 for confirmation that from these lows, we have something like this as one, two, three, four, and five. Until we actually start to see this bigger impulsive structure pushing to the upside here, we need to be very careful. Like I said, you know, we still have that counter life where this could be one, two, one, two, one, two, but we need to see this turn around from this point and look to start breaking higher. Failure to do that makes it more likely we're going to see something along these lines where we're going to see this move continue to push to the downside here in those other degree counts here where what we we're saying is that the structure is either looking at this as a WXY, in which case we're looking for this 1236 to this 1382. Or alternatively, if we are looking at this as a bigger five wave structure that's going to develop internally here, we need to still develop a fourth wave and then see a push to the downside. If we're looking at this idea of this flat, the most common target area for this, we've actually come into this already, which would be this 25,360. The lower zone of this would be this 23,646, which would be looking to bring us back down into some of these highs over here so we'll be keeping an eye on that if we continue to push to the downside and then like i said you know we need to always be careful of extension if we see this stuff starting to break down in a bigger way here and we don't see you know a bigger retracement here for wave four it potentially means that this structure is still within a wave three and we could be looking for lower prices before we develop that wave four and that wave five to the downside so this is going to be the most important thing for me at the moment i want to see how we react first off in relation to this low which is looking likely to get broken but then the next thing i'm looking for out for here is whether we can continue to hold the support zone here of the 786 which would be 17,956 to this 50 percent which would be this 21,903 obviously this 0.382 is also quite an interesting level here so we'll be keeping an eye on that if we do continue to hold this zone as support then we could potentially look for that continuation to the upside if we start to break down deeper from this point what we have to be careful of is though even within this corrective structure when i'm saying that you know this is potentially a w an x and a y there is also a count where we could argue that if we're going to count this as a five way move where this is one, two, three, four, five, that this could just be A, B and C. And then, you know, this could be completed and we could actually be starting to form the Y wave to the downside already from this point here. But what we'd need to see then is one, two, three, four, five, forming something like a flat correction here seeing three waves back up and then seeing that continuation to the downside after that point if we start to move back above these highs this would invalidate this and would rather like i said confirm that idea of another push to the upside first before that break to the downside okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video leave us some feedback down below and also in the description you will find a link to discord come check it out it's free to join Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.